In today's question, ABCD is given a square. Inside it, we have put a quadrant with radius R. So R is also side of the square. In this, we have drawn a line segment that is CM, which is making, which is cutting the circle at point N. The length of CN and MN are given as 10 and 8 centimeter. Using this data, we have to find the radius of quadrant or side of the square. If we look at our quadrant from point M, now AM is the tangent on the circle and CM is a secant which is cutting at point N. So using tangent secant theorem, We know that AM square is MN times MC. The proof of this sec secant tangent theorem, I have provided in video number 26 and description I have given below. So you can check. Now putting the values, AM square, AM square is MN is 8 and MC is 18, which is 144. From here, we are getting AM is nothing but 12 centimeter. So this is our observation number one. Let's write down this data here. So this is 12 centimeter. If we look at CN, with respect to circle, what is CN? CN is a chord. And with respect to circle, what is point D? Point D is the center of the circle. Now here from point D, if we'll draw a perpendicular to CN, right? So we know that if we draw a perpendicular from the center, then that also divides the chord into equal parts. So this, let's name this as P. So we know that CP is equals to PN. Now CN is 10 centimeter, so CP will be nothing but 5 centimeter. Okay, let's look these two triangle now. This angle is 90 degree. So I am looking at the yellow triangle. And let's look at this green triangle. Now in this, this particular angle, if I'll take this angle as alpha, this angle is alpha and this angle, if I'll take it as beta, we know alpha plus beta is 90 degrees. So here, this angle is 90 degrees angle C. So here the remaining angle, this angle will be nothing but beta. And this angle, this is alpha. And you have guessed it correct. We'll use similar triangle theorem here. So we have got triangle MBC. Triangle MBC, that's similar to triangle. This is CPD. These two triangles are similar. And in similar triangle, the ratio of sides are equal. So Let's see what sides are available to us. So here, if we'll see this full length is how much? This is same as R. So MB, when we talk about MB, MB is nothing but R minus 12. Okay. And here BC, BC will be same as R. So we have got all the sides of yellow triangle. How about green triangle? So green triangle, we know BP is 5 centimeter. We have just calculated. And DC, we know DC is nothing but R. Right? So let's check with respect to green triangle. We know two sides. We know CP and we know DC. So CP upon DC. 
this will be equals to here it will be mb upon mc now let's put the values here mb is r minus 12 mc mc is nothing but 10 plus 8 that is 18 centimeter cp is r sorry cp is 5 centimeter and dc dc is your r cross multiply we'll get r times r minus 12 is 90 so this is r square minus 12 r this is 90 now this 12 r we can write it down as r square minus 2 times 6 times r so we have a square minus 2ab so i'm adding 6 square here and on the other side also i'll add 6 square so basically both side we have just added 6 square so that left side will become complete square that's a square plus b square minus 2ab so r minus 6 whole square and right side is 126 we'll solve it to get value of r so we are getting here r is r minus 6 is square root of 126 126 is multiple of 9 so r is 6 plus and this is 3 root 14 centimeter and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed the solution and uh, the solution is crystal clear to you. We'll see you in next video. Till then, tata. Bye-bye.